So you decided to enter the lucrative market of EV charging services. Now you are asking yourself, do I have enough power at my home or facility to install a DC charging station? And what particular DC charging station am I able to install? Step one, determine how many phases of electricity, volts and amps you have at your home or commercial facility. Contact your utility company to obtain the information. Most residences in the USA have single phase electricity with 120 to 240 volts and under 400 amps. Commercial facilities, on the other hand, typically have three phases of electricity, 480 volts and over 400 amps. Step two, once you determine how many phases, volts and amps you have available at your home or facility, now it is time to review the specs of the particular DC charger you are interested in purchasing. Click on the Products button at the top of the page. You can find the phase, voltage, and amperage requirements on the right side of the page and in the middle of the page on the spec sheet. Discern if you have the proper phase, voltage, and amperage available at your home or facility to power the charger. All of our DC chargers require 480 volts and three phases of electricity. However, the number of amps required depends on the power rating of the specific charger you will purchase. Step three, increase in amperage. If you do not have enough amps at your home or commercial property, you can ask your utility company for an upgrade. Step four, increase voltage and phase. If you do not have 480 volts and three phases of electricity, you can ask your utility company to increase volts and phase, or you can use a step-up isolation transformer. The rated power for the step-up isolation transformer must be 20 to 25% greater than the power rating of the charger you will purchase. You will also need additional amps if using step-up transformer. Additional information can be found in the specification section of each product's page. Step five, preliminary site plan. The next step is to find out if the authority having jurisdiction AHJ will approve the proposed location. You should obtain a preliminary site plan that should be completed by a licensed electrician or electrical engineer. We have sample site plans on our website. Visit www.energetevcharge.com. One of our affiliate electrical engineers can also assist you in drafting a preliminary site plan. Please contact us at 866-894 1284 for additional information. Step six, set up installation. Once you have received your charger, it's time to set it up. The portable DC chargers do not require construction or changes to the infrastructure. You do not have to excavate or run conduits underground. These stations work by plugging them into a 480 volt three phase outlet with the proper amperage. Have a licensed electrician install a commercial outlet at your property. Then, the charger can be used simply by plugging it into the outlet. Traditional chargers. The highest power rating for our portable chargers is 60 kilowatts. If you want more power or if you want a traditional EV charging station, you can purchase one of our hardwired stations. Have your licensed electrician or electrical engineer apply for all applicable permits with the authority having jurisdiction. Upon purchase and receipt of the charger, you will receive an installation manual with detailed information about wiring, the foundation size, and all other pertinent information. The National Electrical Code requires all DC chargers to be listed by a nationally recognized testing laboratory. All of our chargers are UL, SGS, or TUV listed and meet the standards of the National Electrical Code. Construction Permits If you are installing conduits underground, you will likely need an excavation or construction permit from the authority having jurisdiction. Your electrician should also contact the utility company before digging to identify the location of underground utilities. Above Ground Installation you can also speak to your electrician or engineer about installing the wires above ground using piping and a protective covering. This type of installation can dramatically reduce both cost and setup time. Step seven, completion. Once the electrician has obtained the necessary permits and completed installation, you are ready to begin earning as an EV charging station owner. 
This business can earn you up to $220,000 per year, depending on factors such as marketing and location. Enerjet EV Charge does not take a share of the customer's profits. Once purchased, all station profits belong to the customer. Each station includes an RFID scanner for credit card payments. Enerjet can also refer clients to third-party EV payment platforms using unique QR codes. Congratulations on your decision to enter this exciting and lucrative market.